queer days. So, straight people, you have the wrong idea of what it's like to be queer. It's not like I wake up every morning to a steaming hot gay latte prepared with the blood of those of a different orientation. It's not like I make a gay omelet, like because I touch them they're suddenly rainbow and are free to choose to be whatever gender they feel that morning. It's not like I touch the newspaper and suddenly change the front page headline to be about a queer issue. I don't have to. I sit with my coffee, reading about another trans person dying over nothing but a restroom. I read story after story about the latest expert telling me how gender is not a choice. That anatomy comes over compassion, that my pain is not important to you. I take off my rainbow pin when going into certain stores because pin is pulled. Lead to grenade, lead to explosion, taking the queer out of this body. I don't know which came first, the chicken or the egg, the exploration of my sexuality or the ridicule. I remember being called a faggot before I even knew what that word meant. I did not learn till years later, but the wound did not heal. Still is open, still bleeding young queer blood. The word just feels normal to me. Like that word is a weapon, can pull the trigger, send me flying. Now I walk down the street. My partner's hands intertwine with mine. We are used to the stairs, as if our simple compassion for one another is cause for a trial that will never be in our favor. Used to the fact that if we're not in the gay part of Toronto, then we shouldn't be in Toronto. I wish things were different, that being queer was as simple as gay breakfast foods, but it's not. It's hard work. It's putting on battle armor just to leave the house and hope to God that there are at least a few allies out there in the dark.